guys, welcome to Missy's Imaginings. Today we're going to do a couple different things. Um, first, we're going to start off with, I want to open these. <laughs> these. These goofy little things are my weakness. So, But I found this new one is sneakers. So I thought, well, that's fun. So this is the, the one that I usually love is the mini brands fashion. So this, I think we'll have a purse, but this one will have shoes. I couldn't resist. So yeah, anyway, we'll start off, we'll open those. Then we're going to take a look at fabric choices for the theme park bounding. Um, my princesses of choice um, for this project are going to be Snow White, which I think I can say that because it's, you know, a fairy tale. It's not exclusive to the big park. Um, and then the Snow Queen <laughs> choice. And um, so anyway, I'm going to be looking at fabrics that I already had. And then I try to refrain from buying fabric, but I... Um, was given a gift card for birthday and Christmas and so I thought okay I'm going to pick out some fabrics so we'll also take a look at those after we go through these um, to see what I had on hand and then the things that I was able to find and then I thought we'll go ahead and put together one of the backpacks um, so you can see how that pattern is uh, put together I do think I didn't follow through with one of the pieces and so there's going to be a couple ways that you can do it. So the first way we put it together will be using the pattern just as it is and then I will uh, show the recommendation that I would give um, for the part that I, I kind of forgot about. So we'll, we'll open some mini fashions. We'll take a look at fabric choices for our project, and then we'll go ahead and put together a backpack for this project. So if that sounds interesting, then um, grab a snack and your favorite beverage and snuggle in and we will get started. So first I'm going to start off with the little mini brand fashion and I'm not always very good at opening these, but if you like them, like I do, <laughs> they are fun. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten the little zipper undone all at once. Okay, so then I think this will just roll. Oh, I guess it didn't rip all the way. We'll see. Now I'm back to normal. All right, so we'll see if my fingernail can get it to finish its job. I guess I got it almost all the way off. So how are you guys doing this week? You doing okay? Oh, it's been a long week for us over here, but we're always glad when the weekend comes. All right, so there's that part. And then, oh, there's another zipper. See, I've, I always get in such an excited, that I never pay attention to the actual packaging. So here we go. So now we'll do a double zipper. Ah, and there we go. Okay. So now the moment of truth. And here we go. So we have our little packages. And this package has two bags and our little paper to tell about what choices we might end up having in our treasure here. So I'll set that to the side and here we go. So the first bag will contain, oh, look at this. <gasps> Is this, oh, that's a perfume. Look at that. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. That's adorable. <laughs> I like that. Oh, and it looks like there's a little hinge. Does it actually open? <gasps> it opens. It's like a little locket. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. Okay. 
that is a gem that one is a gem so very happy so far we'll see what's in this bag I don't want to cut anything okay just in case oh glad I went to the edge what do we have oh we have what looks like a scarf so we have a fancy scarf maybe that's the purse so I don't think this is a purse <gasps> this has shoes too oh my goodness <gasps> look at these little shoes oh my goodness all right so these look like they could work on a Barbie or um, like an Obitsu is it Momo the little um, 12th scale 36 centimeter Obitsu body oh those are so cute oh my goodness oh and tiny little gold letters on the insole let's see do those show up there's kind of a glare isn't there there we go. Maybe you can kind of see there. Oh, those are so cute. Oh my goodness. Those are cute. So this must be the bag then. And what do we have here? This must be a belt or a necklace. Not sure which, but it's cute either way. Oh, it looks like my chain has got a, a, a circle in it. I can't tell if it is meant to be... Oh, it looks like the hook is caught. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's the, the hook. And we've got some little charms. And because the charms are close to the hook, I'm thinking it's more of a belt. Because if it were a necklace, the charms would be in the front rather than on the ends. So that is really cute. Oh my goodness. All right. So there is our little mini fashion. So that collection is very cute. So I like those. We'll move our trash out of the way. Okay. Next, we will try the mini brands sneakers. And again, we have the zipper challenge. So I'm, I guess I need to try to make sure I'm getting through the layer properly. I guess it helps with fingernails. Some of my fingernails, not so good. Um, I had been working at work. We make uh, medical equipment and I sew for production. And I had been working on um, what we call as our, our standard work because we make medical equipment. Everything is documented. And I often work uh, on the computer um, working on that standard work and when I do that for an extended period of time then I'm not sewing but when I go back to sewing we deal with a lot of foams and like uh, uh, it's plastic but it's like batting like a polyester net batting and uh, it really dries out your fingers so then my little fingers whenever I hit the sewing machine or when I'm threading the machine and I'll hit a part of it my little fingernails just snap right off <laughs> so they used to all be like my thumb but now like you know they're just fading away so here we go here is our our sneaker selection oh Reebok no way we have brand names okay now this is crazy because the little mini fashion brands always say mini fashion I don't know if we can read that here let that fall so here on the edge it says mini fashion and it will be a look-alike to a designer fashion but it always actually says mini fashion so this one actually says Reebok look at that so it looks like this might be a sticker yes a sticker so we have a couple of Reebok stickers so looks like we're gonna have some Reeboks all right then here's our our little guide oh they're all re well a lot of Reeboks and Skechers then some Airwalks I guess is our selections so we did have the stickers so we got the stickers and this one says it's the ultra rare 
And then here's the common ones that we might get. So let's see what we have. Okay. And I think in the the deal it had like a blue hat. So what do we have? So we have a black hat. So I don't think we're getting the ultra rare. But that is a cute little cap. A little snap back on the cap. And it doesn't look like it actually does come apart. But it does have the little knobs and everything for it. Get a better light there. So that's a cute little Reebok hat. Again, we're looking at 12th scale, I believe. So I like that. So black hat. So it doesn't say which shoes will come with that. But because we got Reebok, we know it's going to be these or these. So we'll see. Okay, so there's our hat. All right. Feels like they're actually in a box. Okay. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this little Reebok. Oh, little Reebok shoe box. Oh, it looks like we have pink ones. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. I am in love. Look at that little tissue. Oh, little Reebok shoes. Those are so cute. Oh my goodness. And the tongue is separate. I don't know if you can see here. We'll slide my little scissors in here. It actually is separate from the what would be the laces. And here again we're looking at sixth scale. Those are so cute. Oh my goodness. So let's see, on our chart here, it looks like it's the very first selection. The pink ones. Oh, those are cute. Oh my goodness. All right, so these tennis shoes were, let's see, I have to think. They were six, seven ninety nine, I think. Seven ninety nine for the, the tennis shoe set. And I think the fashion bag was $9.99 and I found them at Target. So there we go. So there's our little collection. We'll bring these back into the, the camera here. So I am very surprised that I got two pair of shoes. That's fun. And I love this little, little bag that's in the shape of a perfume bottle. So here we go. There's our selection for today for our mini brand opening and so there we go so the next step in our video will be to take a look at fabric choices for our upcoming project of the theme park bounding all right so let's take a look at our fabric choices firstly for um, the snow white character so I was looking through and I knew I wanted some of the bright primary colors I'm not yet sure how it's gonna go um, but the fabric choices we have are, we have some black accent, um, black corduroy, which might be good for like the shorts. Um, I don't think it's long enough to do a full length pant, but I could do shorts or a capri out of this. I also found some houndstooth, but I think it's a little too busy for what I want, but I have it. So I like the corduroy. And on cutting corduroy, just be sure, oh, and look, here's my point, exactly what I was talking about. I hit the edge of my table and my thumbnail just broke off. So I will be right back. Okay, we're back. <laughs> so, well, now they're all kind of getting closer to the same length. <laughs> so here we have the corduroy. Again, what I was going to say um, with the corduroy, you just always want to be really careful to make sure you're cutting it with the nap going the right way because if you brush this way, it gets really rough. If you go this way, it's smooth. And so I always want the grain or the lay of that nap to go down towards the hem. So you want to watch that when you're cutting things. But I think this would be cute for either capris or the shorts. Then I found some adorable polka dot that I had. So that's bright red, and I may save this smaller uh, polka dot for if I decide to do um, a, a mouse character. <laughs> and maybe that's when I would blend it with houndstooth. I don't know. 
we'll see. I also have some just nice royal blue that I found, just a piece of uh, a cotton, so I'm not sure what I would want for that. Then I do have some red knit, and then I also have like a wider uh, grain knit. So I'm thinking this for a hoodie, this for the cuffs, I think this would be fun for uh, the pocket on the hoodie. This is a uh, like a decorated tool. Let me see if I can find the edge so you can see better what it actually looks like. There we go. So it has just kind of a fun design on there. So I thought that would be fun for the little heart-shaped pocket on the front. Um, so just to add some spiciness to it. So like a red hoodie and then this for the pocket. Then for the shirt, I'm going to take a look at the things that I bought. Um, the only thing that I could find with apples that was small enough and did not look like a teacher type fabric was this bright yellow, which is okay because I wanted some yellow. So this has little apples with some little apple cores um, because, you know, she ate the apple and fell asleep. So we have this that I'm thinking will be the top and I'm not sure which top I want to do yet. I'm thinking this might be the top with the ruffle. Um, yeah, so I may do that. And then because it's not a knit fabric, when I sew the back together, I may leave the back open um, because it won't be able to go over a head like a t-shirt because it's not stretchy. So I could still use that for the oversized tee, but use this cotton instead, which I thought was cute. I did find another um, red that has uneven dots, so I'm not sure if I'll use that or not, but it was an option to add some red in if I needed it. Then I found some plain yellow, but it's not as gold as this, so I may forego the yellow. Then I also found some black gold polka dot that would be fun for leggings or long pants. So we may use that. And then I also found some blue. So I'm not sure if I'll go with the, the blue or if I might mix the blue into the shirt. So these would be the shirt. Then we have leggings or pants. We have the shorts and then a hoodie out of the red is kind of what I'm thinking we'll do. Or, hmm, or maybe the button-up shirt. So yeah, I'm still deciding, but I'm thinking I'm going to go with these fabric choices. The hoodie will be red for sure. And then I have these for the other options for the Snow White character. Then I might save these reds for later if I do a mouse type character. So that's what I have for the Snow White. Then we'll get my fabrics for the Snow character. So I have a white um, kind of knit, it's kind of ribbed knit that will be probably a hoodie or a long t-shirt, but probably a hoodie here as well. Then on the shirt, now this is what's going to be fun. This is the fabric that I already had that I want to mix with something else. Let's see if we can unfold. I have a lot of little pieces. Um, I had made some dresses for my daughters a long time ago. Here, we'll bring that over. Maybe I'll use this color for here. But it has these beautiful snowflakes on it. So I love this fabric. And it's just an iridescent snowflake fabric. And I still have quite a bit. So this would be fun for a winter type character. I love this fabric. So I have lots of that. Then I was looking through the things I have in blue. So since Snow White will probably be using this darker blue, this lighter blue might transition over here better. These, when I was digging through my fabric, I like, but they're a little bit too bright, and I think there's too much green, so I'll probably forgo that. I probably won't use that. But I also have a lovely little gingham with blossoms that I thought was really pretty. 
and then we have this but again we've got the green and yellow so I'm not sure if I want to pull a little bit of that green and yellow in or not I'm still thinking about it then along with this the blue and white uh, palette we have a real pretty little blue and white print that could be for an accent or ruffles on something and then just a piece of light blue that we could piece in somewhere if I need a light blue. Then this again has like a patchwork stitched kind of look, but it's just something that's a little bit with a, a little bit of a variable that I liked. So this I thought could be cute for the shorts or even a backpack out of this fabric I think would be really cute. So this I think are all contenders. I think I'll forego the green and the yellow. So this is what I had so far for this character. Then when I was shopping, I was able to find another snowflake, but it has more of a gray tint, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this or not, um, because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to find this snowflake stuff when I was shopping, because I hadn't looked through my stuff yet, and um, so I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll be using this or not, but I do have that that I purchased. And then I found this wonderful white with silver sparkle. And I don't know if I could get it to show up, but it is very sparkly. There's a lot of silver sparkle on here. And I love this for the pants. Um, or I may end up doing like a ruffled skirt for her, the little peasant ruffled skirt. And then a lot of these layers could come into play for a skirt. And um, yeah, so I'm not sure yet how I'm going to put those together. But that was my fabric choices for the Frozen type character. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab the pattern for the backpack. And we will take a look at the pattern. And we will go ahead and put together a backpack for one of these uh, bounding girls. And I think we're going to do a faux leather and um, I'll see what color I want to do on the backpack. Here is the pattern and then here is the piece that I cut out. I cut it out of a creamy white uh, faux leather and uh, the reason I did so is because I'm going to be adding a little bit of decoration because I didn't plan very well on the pattern. So when we sew this together, it's designed to have a pocket on one side. And so my intention was this will be folded in and then this wider part where there's a fold line here will fold on that line as such and then that will create the seam allowance for putting the front together so it would give a seam allowance uh, for that section and then this will fold backwards to create the pocket but what I failed to remember <laughs> is that if I do it that way this part is the wrong side of the vinyl and it will show and so I didn't have a piece that would flip back to cover this so that it would be the right side of the vinyl. But I'm going to make it as is. And what I'm going to do is put some top stitching on here just to decorate it. And then this will be a seam allowance that will come back. So we're going to fold this back. And it's going to attach on to the backpack first where these lines come in would create the seam line so it's going to be attached right here with some top stitching and then this little part right here will create the seam allowance for sewing that together and then we'll have a little uh, pocket on the side here so that's what this is meant to do and then of course this is just a side and then this comes up for the front this edge 
is wider than this because I'm going to have a drawstring closure around the front and to do that I'm just going to fold it over to create a casing and then I'll put a little tiny hole here and I'm going to have a string anchored here that comes out and through the hole and another one that is attached here comes through and out the hole so those can be pulled and drawn to uh, gather this to make it fit this opening here and then this will fold down. So it's mostly dealing with a lot of uh, finishing the edges. So this will be finished and then these edges will be turned over. But I'm going to do a little bit of top stitching here just to add some decoration since that wrong side of the fabric will show. But sometimes you just act like you do things on purpose. <laughs> So I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to go ahead and turn that in and create our little pocket on the outside with some stitching. And this white one I think will be for the snow collection since it's white. So I'm going to be using some blue threads to just do a little bit of top stitching here, make it kind of pretty, and then we'll start putting this together. So that's our plan. Then on the front, there's also... A pocket to go on the front so I may add some of the top stitching on this pocket as well and then there of course will be top stitching when I fold these pieces over to create the straps for the backpack so that will show some top stitching as well so we're going to use some blue thread and we're going to start putting together our backpack
So here is our finished little backpack. So we have the pocket on the front and a snap closure and then this little drawstring can tighten this. It would take a little bit of wear to kind of get it used to being crinkled there. And then if you'd like, this little bead can slide up to tighten it a little bit. Um, so it would just take a little bit more of a... So if you wanted to um, tie it with two, you could, but I just thought, well, we'll try something new. So it's just one little string with a bead on the end and then a little bead to slide up for the closure, just for fun. Then this is the pocket on the end. I think I would make this pocket wider so that you could get more in it but we got a little flower clip here. We'll sit on there. And then inside we have, what do we have? We have a little bottle of water and a little thing of soda. <laughs> and then this, of course, can close. And then we also have the pockets on the front. Oh, I guess I should have done that first, huh? There we go. You can put stuff in these pockets as well. So then we'll close that. So it stays shut and that can hang down if you want. Then on the back we have the little beads on the strap just for decoration and the two little backpack straps. So there's lots of variations you could do. You could also add a little loop on this side if you wanted to hang something and like I say make this a little bit bigger. Um, but anyway yeah so there's the little backpack that uh, comes with the pattern set and I did sew it exactly, oh, sorry about that, as it's cut. So you can see, and then here's our little top stitching because this is the wrong side of the fabric, um, the way it's turned. So you could either cut an extension and then fold it back one more time just to have um, a bigger, uh, a right side here and then a bigger pocket. And um, yeah, so that's kind of how this goes together. I also have gotten this pattern set ready in MSD size and so there is a tiny little backpack that will come with that but um, that one will be a lot smaller and a lot more to maneuver if you try to sew it together so I didn't really want to do that. This comes with a third scale size and um, yeah so that pattern set will be, I just need to uh, finish getting that ready so I can post it the same time this video goes up. So if you're watching, then you can go over to the website, missysimaginings.com, and get your pattern so that you can make the outfit for the theme park bounding for both the third scale or the MSD size. So SD or MSD sizes patterns will be available with all the same pieces and it has been reduced uh, to 70% of the original to get that quarter scale size. So the pattern's ready for you over there. So thanks for coming along today and in our next video we'll start on one of our outfits and uh, since we've already done the backpack we'll probably go ahead and start on our snowflake outfit next. So until next time, happy sewing! Bye!